Hi, it's Jerry Oginski in the Lawyer's Video Studio. Come on in. Today's video is done for Dave Lorenzo, who asked me to create this video as part of a, a series of videos for legal marketing for lawyers and Rainmaker Lawyer. So in today's video, we're going to cover some basics in setting up your equipment. And by the way, this video is for the purposes of attorneys who are learning how to do this on their own. If you're going to have a video production company come in and do all this for you, you really don't need to know all this stuff. But if you want to learn and have an idea of how it's done, this is the perfect type of video for you. The most important thing, once you've set up your equipment onto your tripod, is trying to figure out where you're going to be shooting your video. If you notice right now, I'm shooting video in what looks like a comfortable setting, and it is. It's my den. I just came back from a beautiful 25-mile bike ride today, so in any event, I'm now all excited and energized to create this video for Dave and all the people who follow him. So here's what you have to do. Look around you. I've got pictures of my kids and my family behind me. I've got the couch behind me. And I'm just going to zoom out. You'll see a little bit better. And I'm sitting on a stool right here in my den. You don't have to do video in your den. You can do it in your office. You can do it outside. But one of the most important things you have to take notice of is what's in your background. Is it visually pleasing? Is there something there that's not going to be pleasing or distracting? Once you figure that out, you then have to adjust your lighting. And typically, I have a whole bunch of professional lights that are going to illuminate me, but I didn't have time to set that up today. So I'm using ambient light and the available light coming in from the windows. In addition, you have to check around to see if there's any ambient noise because you don't realize it, but every day, whether in your office shooting video or somewhere else, there is a ton of ambient noise. Cell phones going off, people walking by. You have to be mindful of the smallest little sounds such as the air conditioner vent, such as the washing machine, such as the TV, other people walking and talking. That can all have an impact on how your video is perceived as well as what other people hear in your video. Once you've determined that your sound is good, your lighting is good, your background is great, only then are you now ready to begin to test all that together. And you have to do a couple of different test shots. You have to turn on the equipment, test to see it, and then replay it. Because most attorneys who are learning to do video on their own are going to be doing this by themselves. and They won't have somebody to give them feedback. So literally, they're going to have to get up from their seated position or standing, go to the camera, check the camera equipment, replay the video, and then go back and sit down and then redo it again. So that can be a little tedious, but it's necessary in order to make sure that you've got great quality. And that's so important. The best way to create video that looks professional and that you know what you're doing is to take the time to edit it into bite-sized segments so that people will want to see it, that it's interesting, it's compelling. You want to add graphics. You want to add maybe some introduction and exit music. You want to color correct. You want to take that time to modify it so that you now get a video that not only provides great content, but quality-wise is excellent. And you can't often do that with a, with a Blackberry or a smartphone or an iPhone and take your video and sure, it looks great on the fly, but the best way to do it is to take the time to learn how to do it. And that's it for today's video tip about setting up your equipment, what to look for. And again, I want to thank Dave Lorenzo for asking me to do this for his group at Legal Marketing for Lawyers and Rainmaker Lawyer. I'm Jerry Oginski here in the Lawyer's Video Studio. Thanks for watching.